welcome back to the channel this time something a little different i have made a seasonal character yes with my ridiculous meltdown in reaction to the seventh season launch i figured i would swallow my pride and give the new season the chance it deserves i will go over the positives so far i've had and the negatives so far that i have experienced here at the start, you will see my character creation and my first day of the new season. I accidentally re-rolled my first set of starting skills, which was decent enough just because I forgot what clicking the deck of cards in your inventory did. I just wanted to for this experiment to never re-roll anything. Even if the first set of skills I got was crap, I was going to play just what the game gave me. No re-rolling of anything. Starting off with the positive, obviously with a new season launching, the population is at its peak. Crazy amounts of people in the first few zones, lots of competition for quest mobs and resources, but also lots of people to just join up to do group activities like dungeons or quests. The new random enchant screen looks very clean and I'm super happy that they have updated it. It is super sleek and modern looking and the functionality of it has been improved. It looks a lot less confusing and I think will help those new players understand the system much easier. The updated talent screen looks good enough. The colors around the different skills is a little off-putting, adds a layer of visual clutter that just doesn't need to be there, but it's not entirely offensive. The leveling experience is still fairly decent, just like with any character, you as a quote unquote hero are way too strong while leveling, which leads you to feeling like a god amongst men, which is always a nice time. This could be tuned down in the future, but for now it's totally fine. And that's about as far as the positives go for me personally. Let's go into the things that so far I can already tell are going to be a lot less fun for someone like me in seasonal. The wild card system, the picking skills from random choices. I just cannot find what is so appealing about this process. From the start of my character, I was given the option of playing a fire mage with an imp for support. I had fireball, and if you really boil down the leveling process, fireball is the only skill you quote unquote need to get to max level. Simply having a bunch of different skills that you could use doesn't mean I have any desire or want to actually use them. I would say it's like Baskin Robbins. You have 31 flavors, but you always choose the same one. And that's totally true here. I have fireball. That's all I need to get to max level. Why do I keep getting more skills that in the end I'll never use? The ability to re-roll skills kind of ruins any sense of random class fantasy to me. Like I stated in my previous video, if what you got was permanent with zero re-rolling, I could see the appeal of it more. And after playing it again, it is still true. I personally can't see the fun of re-rolling abilities to try and get something I want. Any system in any game, Project Ascension or other, with gambling elements I really, really don't like. I could go into a 3 hour long video on why gambling systems in video games is detrimental, but I will save you the earache. Suffice it to say, spending my in-game time re-rolling abilities to play the game, rather than just actually playing the game, seems very boring. I actively don't want to use the reroll system because of the time sink it's forcing onto me. And yes, it is a gambling system. You are willingly giving up time for a randomized chance to receive something in return. Looking forward to max level content, because we are at level 60 instead of 70, the amount of talents and abilities we can have will be lower than our level 70 counterparts. Not to labor the point of saying the meta is boring, but reducing the amount of points players can use to make a unique build will actively reduce the meta even more so. If my wild card choices work out, then I'll have a fairly decent fire mage once I hit max level. I may not have all the utility spells like Innervate, Life Tap, or others, but I pretty much already at level 30 have the core of a fire mage for level 60. Cast Fireball and get Fire Talents. Not anything revolutionary and certainly nothing unique about having it on a seasonal character versus a free pick character. I'll cut over to some footage of me going over my in-game character just so you can all see exactly where she's at. So here we are in game, I'm just going to really briefly go over basically what my character looks like in its current state at level 30. So we're halfway through to max level. Uh, just going over the skills really quick, so we have Arcane Shot, Conjure Wander, uh, Demon Skin, Drain Soul, Earth Shock, Fireball, Healing Stream Totem, Healing Touch, Holy Fire, Emulate, Intimidating Shout, Sinister Strike, Sprint, Summon Imp, uh, and uh, Focus Magic. I was able to pick that up. So I'm basically playing a uh, Fire Mage, which is fine. I like Fire Mage. Um, I don't use 
arcane shot. I kind of use demon skin just, I guess, for some extra armor. Uh, Earth shock is just a uh, fire blast with a different skin on it at the moment. Um, healing stream totem basically does nothing for me. I use healing touch for myself. Uh, Holy fire does nothing for me. In Immolate's pretty sweet. I'm glad I got that. Uh, I haven't used intimidating shout, nor probably will I ever use it. Uh, Sinister strike. I'm glad Kaladin wanted me to have Sinister Strike. Uh, I have Sprint, which is actually pretty sweet. I'm pretty glad I got that. I've used it before. Um, Summon Imp, always really good. Uh, and Focus Magic can be good uh, if I get the Focal Point RE. Um, so at its current state, yes, I could click more buttons. Um, or just having the option to have more buttons doesn't really incentivize me personally to want to just use them like arcane shots useless drain soul could be good if i get like fire stones it's okay healing stream totem holy fire i just i don't know it's it is what it is but i am enjoying the fire mage so far uh so i'm looking forward to get this guy to level 60 and see exactly what it's like at the end game to end this video i will give you a summary of what i've experienced so far on seasonal it's barely mediocre at best. The leveling still pretty much feels the same. You cast one spell and kill monsters endlessly until level 60. The new color coding system to the skill card choices has zero effect on the outcome of what I will pick. PvP is non-existent to someone like myself, so the choices made will always be towards performance over anything else. And lastly, the prestige system, while it sounds awesome on paper, I have already had people tell me that because of the new restrictions on the skill card choices, players are almost being forced into doing prestige multiple times to get closer to the build they desire, once again emulating the free pick style of building a character that I compared it to in my last video. I'd love to hear what everyone's experience is with Seasonal so far. Even though I may not be enjoying it all that much, I have allowed myself to accept that others might be having an absolute blast playing, and I'd really love to share in that excitement with anyone who wants to. And with that, this video is done. Hope you guys enjoyed. Subscribe below for more content. I'll see you in the next one.